Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Got to jump more into some more shit going on with Meek Mill and Trey Songs. Now, the supporters hit me up on this, sent me a couple things they want me to speak on and put my opinion on. I don't know Meek Mill, never met Meek Mill, never met Trey Songs. I fuck with both of their music and what they got going on right now with the pandemic and the thing with the streets and all that shit with the everything going on in the world. Now, Meek Mill posted this right here and said, hey, ain't no such thing as keeping it real with motherfuckers who fake with you or whatever. You know, just putting it out there like that. Hey, this is what I'm on. He holding some money in his hand. But Trey Song goes in the comments to say, take some of them bands and accept the Feed Your City Challenge. Now, that's going to strike niggas like, nigga, what the fuck you mean, nigga? He had to let the nigga Trey Songs know, nigga, I've been doing this all year since he basically like two years. You know what I'm saying? Well, since he came home the last time. So there you go. You nigga could come with the receipts. 200K to Philadelphia schools. My phantom. He gave that away with, uh, with with uh the challenge, yo Gotti put in for this challenge. A lot of people put in for the challenge on that, and that was right when the uh, pandemic first hit. Meek always been one that we see giving back to the community, but I went. Uh, somebody sent me this where Trey Songs actually had challenged Meek in the Feed Your City thing. Him and Pusha T was out doing their thing in the streets, but I gotta be honest here. For you to go in his comments and put that with that certain emoji like you confused. I guess Trey Song wanted a response when he challenged Meek in the Feed Your City, uh, Feed Your City Challenge. But Meek is probably like, hey, man, nigga, I've been doing that. Nigga, it ain't nothing new to me. I've been giving backpacks. I've been outside in the streets in the community. I've been doing everything for the uh Justice reform, I uh, became the face of that. I've dedicated time and energy into giving back to the people. You know, he's locked in with Rock Nation. They got all type of sponsorship shits going on. I, even when he was with Pumas and with Puma and all that, they was giving back. So I do get, you know, the whole concept of, you know, challenging the other people to do it. But at this time, you know, with the emoji coming in the comment section, it seems like Trey Song has a little bit of an issue with Meek. And I think you got to keep that separate, dog. I don't know what go on behind the scenes, what that went on behind the scenes with these two. But obviously, it's something, you know, I'm pretty sure Trey Songs would downplay it or not respond and say it's not that serious. But for you to go in the man comments and say it and then put the emoji, you got to understand what that's going to look like. The blog page is going to snatch it up. Uh, even my supporters, the people that fuck with Urban Politician TV, want me to speak on it. They going to screenshot it, send it to me or whatever, or tag me in the shit or Go comment on my YouTube and say, man, what's up with this shit here? And tell me what you think. And I got to come speak on it. Your shade rooms, your ball alerts, they get a thrive and a kick and get traffic to their channel when you go in the comment section and type shit like this. So, like I say, Trey Songs, from the looks of it, I don't know for sure. It looked like you got a little bit of a problem with Meek Mill. And it comes, I don't think Trey Songs is a hater. I don't feel like he's a hater, but he might just have a certain little issue with Meek Mill or felt like he wanted a response when he challenged Meek Mill. But understand, you can't question a man like that the way Meek Mill responded like, hey, nigga, I've been giving back. Where the fuck was you at? You know what I'm saying? In that nature, of course, I like I say, it could be a joke. But it doesn't seem that way with the way that it's expressed. And, man, let's be clear here, bro. It's a fucked up world we live in because it's a gift and a curse. If you give back silently and you don't tell nobody and you go out flashing money, motherfuckers going to be like, ah, oh, nigga, you need to be giving that money back to the homeless. Take Floyd Mayweather example, right? But then guess what? The same motherfuckers, when you record yourself giving back or you give the or show the receipts of you giving back or you speak on what you're giving back, oh, you just doing it for clout now. You just showing out. Hey, man, do what you feel is right in your heart. If you want to record it, document it or not, man, as long as you giving back, 
for the right cause and you really doing it because you want to oh, give it back, period, bro. If you give it back, nobody owes nobody anything. You can't tell another man how to spend his money. That's just my personal opinion. I don't want to, you know, when it comes to giving back, you can't tell a nigga how to give back or what to give back. You know what I'm saying? And understand a lot of times it's the thought that count. But understand, it's always some other shit that go on with shit, too, sometimes. But in this case right here, it is what it is. We will see. They probably ain't got nothing serious going on. But if they do, hey, we just got to wait and see. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politics TV, man, 1000.